from the state capitol, we're finally getting to see how lawmakers will be spending your tax dollars. Numbers for a last-minute budget now revealed in the last week of session. News 4's Nick Camper joins us live at the Capitol with an outline of how almost $13 billion will be divided. Nick, that's a big job. Yeah, Heather, it is a big number for general government. We're talking uh, the governor's office, state auditor's office, ethics commission office of management, enterprise services. Those budgets are going to be flat, but with the record savings, the state is going to be investing in education and health care. This is an excellent budget. Honestly, I would I'd argue that's probably the best budget in state history. Republicans praising their strategy for spending a little under $13 billion. The majority of it will go to education and public health. Education represents over $5.6 billion, and public health is over $2.3 billion. House Budget Vice Chair Ryan Martinez predicts easy passage. As good as this budget is, I mean, I'm just going to say, if you can't vote yes on this budget, you'll probably never vote yes on a budget. But Democrats are frustrated. House Democratic leader Cindy Munson says hundreds of millions going for the first time to cover private school tax credits has a huge impact on spending elsewhere. We've had to appropriate money or make decisions on where dollars will go to various agencies based off of that money that will not be available for this fiscal year. And that will only grow as we move on through the next few years. She's also concerned about flat budgets, including the Office of Management Enterprise Services and the State Auditor's Office. A flat budget. Uh, that is concerning because a flat budget is essentially a cut. All of us are dealing with inflation. It's not just us individually. Lawmakers plan to get the budget on the governor's desk by Friday. They entered into a special session specifically for the budget in order to come back at a later date in June if veto overrides are necessary. So it's up to the governor obviously to decide what he's going to do with the budget. Um, I know that the legislature is proud of this budget. There's been a lot of work that goes into it. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so there was one program that had clear bipartisan support. That was the six weeks of paid maternity leave for state employees that have been employed for at least two years. That is separate from the teacher paid maternity leave bill. This is its own one. And that's going to cost around $3 million for the state with some flexibility to add more overtime if necessary. Reporting live here at the Capitol, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4.